Dear Deans uh, Mark Halleberg and Christine Ray, uh, our esteemed guest, uh, Anna Christine Robert, uh, faculty and staff members, friends and family, uh, new EMPO students, and last but certainly not least, the graduating class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We are very honored to represent the graduates of 2019. Uh, today we're here to celebrate a journey, a long learning journey that took some of us one year, some of us two years, and some of us slightly more. <laughs> we're here to celebrate the class of 2019. But who are these people that are graduating today? Today we have 28 graduates, 13 men and 15 women. Uh, we come from five continents and 20 different countries. And together we have combined 205 years of experience. <laughs> Not only that, our backgrounds are quite diverse. In our classroom sat program managers, violinists, consultants, public servants, uh, presidential advisors, university lecturers, marketing executives, social entrepreneurs, <laughs> development specialists, international agency employees, foundation leaders, and elected officials, and, and many more. In our Hurti experience, we spent 43 days together in more than 400 hours of classes. Um, each of us did at least 5,000 pages of readings, and our professors had to read 1.3 million words we wrote in our essays and theses. <laughs> Um, conservatively um, estimated, we probably spent about 2,000 euros at the Italian pasta place just around the corner, and even more at Zappa. 450 liters of watered coffee helped us through the day, and it took more than 400 flights to make it to class in Berlin. So, sorry Earth, and grateful for that. Um, but these statistics don't tell the full story. Her experience was more than just those numbers. Somewhere in between those early morning flights, busy days and deadlines, something magical happened. And we tried to sum up this experience in true millennial fashions with a series of hashtags. <laughs> Hashtag, there's no one truth. To quote one fellow graduate, the world is hellish complex. And everyone has a perspective that can help solve social problems and address policy issues. We learned that there is no one truth and that the best strategy to find your own truth is to always wonder why. Hashtag, who am I? Understanding the challenge of today starts with knowing ourselves better. The EMPA program challenged us to leave our comfort zones in vivid discussions, futuristic games, and conflicting goals. We probably leave the program with more questions asked than answers found, but with healthy self-confidence to find and create those answers in the future. Hashtag InstaFame. Some of our most memorable moments happened outside of the classroom. One particular class had a large effect on the Instagram following of one particularly <laughs> interesting Paris-based Instagrammer. <laughs> I think it's a good thing that we had this Instagram because it kept us uh, busy and entertained while we waited patiently for our grades. <laughs> Hashtag superstar classmates. If you're ever confused about a deadline, just ask Jalen. <laughs> if you want to throw shade on consultants, point at Moritz. If you fancy a coffee at Einstein, Umal is your goal to go. If you want to learn why or why not to attend MIT or Harvard, find Mansoor. And if you want to geek about trains, Charlie is your person. If you ever feel frustrated, just reach out to the WhatsApp vending team. Now, jokes aside, the community and diverse cohort of our class is the biggest treasure of this degree. It sometimes felt like there are 25 professors in class, not only two. <laughs> Hashtag discussions. Our classes were lively to say the least. Topics like nudging, Brexit, the garbage can model, triggered many passionate 
responses that sometimes made even our most experienced professors at a loss at how to bring us in. We hope we will remember fondly most of our discussions, even the ones that caused an eye road or two. Hashtag governance is not government. On our very first day at Herdy School, we learned it's about governance. We understood the difference between governance and government, but little did we know that we are about to experience ourselves what this means. Government alone cannot address the complex issues we face today. Um, but what this program did is it put together people and professionals from all different kind of backgrounds in one room and offered them a platform to learn from and inspire each other. Judging by the discussions, debates, and many aha moments we had, we now truly understand that only by working together and reaching out across the aisle, we can find those innovative solutions. This is why governance, not government, matters and is the key. And what truly matters is collective action. Hashtag privilege. No one can deny that the people in this room are all very privileged one way or another. Which is why one of the most memorable experiences that many students shared was the, um, was the inequality game that we played in the Leadership in Action Club. Privilege breeds privilege, and inequality is persistent. And this was glaringly obvious in that game. As we walk out into this world and become change agents in our respective fields, we must hold on to the lessons that we've learned in that game. And we must do our best to break this cycle. In conclusion, HERTI for us means H for holistic approaches. E for exchange of knowledge. R for ringing WhatsApp notifications. <laughs> T is for truth is relative. I for inspiring interactions. And E, endings are actually beginnings. Herty follows the slogan, understand today, shape tomorrow. The Empire experience made us become more thoughtful, professional, sound in decision making, and more conscious in our actions. With this in mind, good luck and, and shape, shape on. on.